A vibrant summer. Burnaby schools were busy places to be over the summer. The popularity of summer session continues to soar with almost 8,000 students attending more than 400 courses. Hands-on and fun learning opportunities continue to be in demand, such as robotics and other classes that explore technology. Summer also saw a resurgence of in-person traditions. The Vancouver Pride Parade returned in July, with many participants dancing alongside the district float and DJ. Burnaby Pride at Civic Square was also back on. Trustees shared a district-created crossword puzzle and coloring page, with some attendees creating their own competitions to see if they could finish it the fastest. Over at Burn Creek Community School, volunteers, community school coordinators, and school staff came together to help run a summer food hub. They collected and distributed donations to more than 300 adults and children. Many students also continued their care for community over the summer break. Youth from Burnaby North Secondary started their fundraising for the Christmas Bureau. And at the end of August, Maywood Community School was the site of a provincial announcement to support school communities. The BC government's new Student and Family Affordability Fund allocates millions across BC to help those in need with supplies, school meals, activities, and field trips. Supporting newcomers from Ukraine. The, the District Settlement Workers in Schools Program, or SWIS for short, organized a summer reading club for students from Ukraine at both the elementary and secondary levels. Dozens of children whose families fled from the war in their home country have found friendship and learning opportunities in the program. Continuing into the fall, it's led by two volunteer teachers from Alpha Secondary and Armstrong Elementary. Additionally, 40 newcomers from Ukraine attended a Swiss run picnic where the board chair delivered a warm welcome. And a field trip for 12 Ukrainian youth was led by a Mostrop secondary graduate who was originally from Ukraine. The students went to see a movie, played games in the park, and learned about what to expect at high schools in Burnaby. Swiss workers also distributed 100 new backpacks donated by TELUS. Awards and recognition. The new district administration office has been honored with a Heritage BC Award for the restoration of the former school building and modern office addition. The original grand front entry stairs built in 1914 were among the features brought back to life. Other historical elements, including a cupola, were restored. Separately, Burnaby Online was recognized when it was chosen as one of the 18 designated provincial online learning schools, and the District Principal of Equity, Diversity and Inclusion has been chosen as a finalist for the Premier's Award for Excellence in Education. Beth Alpha White has been leading anti-racism work at the district with teachers, students, families, leadership, and community groups since 2020. This year's award winners will be announced on October 14th. A joyful start to the school year. As students went back to school at Westridge Elementary, they got to cross the newly completed Reconciliation Crosswalk. The first of its kind in Burnaby, the idea came from grade six and seven students who wanted to put reconciliation into action. Coast Salish artist Athena Pika created the design after working with the class. Students and staff at Clinton Elementary returned to the news that they are expanding their indigenous school garden. This after being selected over the summer from 1,200 applicants for a $3,000 grant from Whole Kids Foundation. Seaforth and Parkcrest Elementary students and staff began the 2022-23 school year with seismic improvements and upgrades to their buildings. Still at Parkcrest on the first day of school, Students in Brenta Montag pardon me, Montagano's uh, class had a lesson on pursuing your dreams. It was inspired by the news that a former Park Press student was Britain's new prime minister. The Burnaby School District connection garnered local, national, and international media attention. Let's take a look at the story that aired on Global News on the first day of school. Okay, so Division Three, welcome back. 
For the grade six, seven class at Parkcrest Elementary in Burnaby, they're getting an important lesson on this first day of school. Dreams are within reach. So this is my grade seven picture that was taken at Parkcrest. Brenda Montagano teaches at Parkcrest, the same school she attended more than 30 years ago. Who knew one of her classmates would become a world leader? This person's name is Liz Truss. Can you guess which student Liz might be? Well done. And does anyone know what she might do now? That new girl in grade seven with the cool English accent is now the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Liz Truss posted on Instagram, 30 years ago, I spent a year in Canada that changed my outlook on life. Back then, she had this kind of witty sense of humor and she would kind of end, say something coy or witty and she'd kind of have this little half smile after she, she made some joke or some pun and we all would be laughing. Trust doesn't explain how the year in Canada impacted her, but Brenda says if the picture is a clue, she has an idea. I would think it would have a lot to do with the teacher, um, Bill Chambers. He just made every student feel important and special and kind of figured out what your passions were, your interests, and helped us grow in those areas. Think big, what is a dream I have for the future. Brenda hopes this will be an inspiration to her students and let them know what you say and do can have a lasting impact on a person and help form who they are today. Known for a country and now famous, it's just really amazing. If someone who went to my school could become a prime minister, I feel like I could do a lot now. I think I'm going to be researching a lot of her a bit. Liz Truss may be across the pond now, but she's hopefully inspiring other young students to dream big. Doctor. To become a famous singer and to inspire many more. My dream I have for the future is to become a veterinarian. Grace Key, Global News. Schools also started off the year with a return to traditions such as barbecues and family picnics, as seen here at Brantford and Lyndhurst Elementary Schools, as well as Caribou Hill Secondary. There were special welcomes for the youngest students, such as a welcome to kindergarten event held at Armstrong Elementary and a visit to the school office at Kitchener Elementary. And the youngest at high school, the grade eights, also had special activities, such as this puzzle scavenger hunt at Alpha, and this field trip at Burnaby North. Over at University Highlands Elementary, students sang at Street Fest, which was put on by Simon Fraser University and Partners. The community event moved from online and back to in-person this year. Keeping Terry's dream alive. Each year, students throughout the district, such as these at Moss Crop Secondary, Federation Park, and 12th Avenue Elementary, participate in Terry Fox runs and campaigns. Collectively, thousands of dollars are raised to support cancer research. Fall into sports. Competitions in high school fall sports have begun, including soccer, with student athletes from Burnaby North, Burnaby South, Mosscrop, and Burnaby Central Secondary seen here. And after a disruption caused by the pandemic, elementary cross country meets are back on for the first time in three years. District co-hosts major child care announcement. The child care center at Cascade Heights Elementary was the site of a media event held by the provincial and federal governments about fee reductions for infant and toddler care. The announcement was co-hosted by the district and Cascade Heights YMCA child care center. The center itself is one of many resulting from a plan approved by the Burnaby Board of Education to expand space for childcare on school properties. Ongoing journey of reconciliation. This is Truth and Reconciliation Week. A school-wide art project at Glenwood Elementary is one example of the learning, learning happening across the district to honor people who attended residential schools and to reinforce that every child matters. Secondary students at the Royal Oak alternate program are working on a garden project. Their hand painted rocks will be combined with larger ones that read uh, Namwa Youth, meaning we are all one. Orange pansies donated by a large, sorry, donated by a local nursery will also be part of the installation. 
the Provincial Outreach Program, uh, Deaf and Hard of Hearing, collaborated with Indigenous representatives on productions in ASL. They created several videos, including the Orange Shirt Day story. Additionally, in recognition of Truth and Reconciliation Day, flags at schools and all district sites will be lowered to half mast on Friday. And that ends in Burnaby Schools.